So I did three years of research, carrying out 150 interviews with people who were internally displaced within Ukraine. So I started with that framework, but then I quickly expanded it to what I called everyday war, because what I saw was that people also were engaging in the conflict in, in everyday ways. I met a young woman who was about 21. She had been forcibly displaced from Luhansk. You know, she said, you know, the hardest part about being displaced is not that I lost my house. You know, it's not that I lost my position studying at a university. You know, it's not even that I miss our neighbors and our friends. The hardest part is that my dad went to volunteer um, as a, a fighter and they didn't give him the right supplies. They gave him these terrible boots that didn't fit and he's a sniper and he didn't have any gloves to keep the gun from flipping in his hands. And then, you know, he's supposed to be out at night and he didn't have any goggles. And so she, her entire life was organized around provisioning dad to kill their former neighbors, right? That was her entire life. So she normalized the killing in order to maintain this very crucial human connection with her father.